What part of Fukushima do you not understand? When nuclear contamination hits the fan, plutonium is everywhere, it's in the sea, it's in the air, and we don't even have any evacuation plan. Google Fukushima, take a stand. in just a minute, but I want to tell you a little bit about him. He's a journalist and an author and a democracy activist and advocate for renewable energy who helped coin the term no nukes. He's a senior advisor to Greenpeace USA and the Nuclear Information and Resource Service, and he has served as senior editor of Columbus Free Press. He's done many more things. You can read about him in the lineup of speakers here that I have in your programs. And I'd like to welcome you, Harvey. And Harvey will be our MC and introduce everybody else. And thank you very much. And I'm going to turn it over to him now. If anybody would like to be a member of the Malibu Democratic Club, I have forms here. Just put your hand up. And I'll come by and pass them down to you. OK? Thanks very much. Can I join if I don't live in Malibu? Well, yes, of course. Oh, you great. don't have to live in Malibu Absolutely. to be a member of the club. All right, wonderful. I'm going to join. Thank you very much. It's, it's wonderful to be in Malibu. I can't believe I'm speaking in Malibu. I've been coming to the speech for, for years and years and years. And I just saw a great surf movie called um, uh, Riding Giants. Does anybody know that movie? Riding Giants. And a lot of it takes place on the surf, surf uh, uh, beaches of Southern California, including, most importantly, San Onofre. The, the, move, the movement to shut San Onofre really did start with the surfers down there. And, um, and they knew what they were doing. And I'm just thrilled that finally people can ride the surf at San Onofre and not worry about the active yeah. nuclear power plants. Yeah. We, still have, we still have plenty of stuff going out there, but at least we've taken the first step to shutting uh, the reactors there. The two major themes we're going to talk about today, which are the two major themes of m most of our lives in California, and I am migrating out here, by the way. My wife and I still live in Ohio. We raised five beautiful daughters there. I am the Tevya of the anti-nuclear movement. <laughs> and um, uh, those of you who uh, uh, have children and grandchildren know what, that, what a draw that is. And thankfully, my older twin has moved to Valley Village. And um, uh, we, I have two gorgeous grandsons there. Uh, the one time I ever broke down on the radio was on KPFA in Berkeley, was when the cloud was coming from Fukushima to, uh, to California. And my daughter was pregnant at the time, and I just couldn't bear the idea of more radiation coming into uh, this amazing state and coming down. And you know, all the, all the radiation comes from, from Diablo Canyon comes south. It comes down the coast, as was pointed out to us at a recent event by David Crosby from Crosby Sills Nash, who has a house near uh, San Luis Obispo. And um, you know, he's a sailor, and uh, I ride the bike path from Will Rogers down to Venice whenever I can. And believe me, I know that the wind comes from the north because riding down is a piece of cake, riding back up is always a problem. And uh, you know, I'm always thinking about that stuff coming from Diablo Canyon. So the people in the north in PG&E territory pay for Diablo Canyon with their money, but we pay for our health and, our, and the danger to our lives. And so uh, I was arrested at Diablo in 1984. Lovely county jailer, <coughs> highly recommended, although I haven't been back. I uh, can't speak for the food or the attire. The uh, orange is not is not the new black, folks. But um, you know, um, it, we ha we have not we don't have any civil disobedience planned right now for Diablo Canyon. We're not going that route at the moment. But what we are doing, we have uh, some very serious ways that we think we can shut Diablo Canyon. I'm going to leave it to Linda uh, Seely from from the mothers, uh, and then Paul and, and Donna will talk. <clears throat> about the various nitty-gritty stuff, and then we'll, I'll, I'll help summarize at the end. The other major piece of the puzzle here is uh, I did come in uniform, folks. And this is my, oh, it's inside out. Oh, I'm embarrassed. Okay. Solartopia uh, backwards. Those of you, I should stand in front of a mirror. Solartopia. The other agenda item is on our, on our plate is Solartopia. It's the idea of a green-powered Earth. And, you know, I just flew, in, flew into Burbank for about the tenth time. And you look down at Los Angeles, and there are square mile after square mile of rooftops that should be covered with photovoltaic cells. And solar panels, photovoltaic cells, will be the biggest industry in the history of the world. 
And at some point, yeah. we will gather back here in the Malibu Library, and uh, there will be solar panels all through Malibu and all through Los Angeles. And, and Los Angeles, which should be the first major city in the world to go totally solar. And it will happen now. The numbers are in our favor. The business plan is in our favor. Everything is pointing in this direction. Many of you will e both solarize your house and work in the solar industry. And I'm going to say if there's one thing we really need uh, politically in this country, it's a union of solar workers. You know, one of the problems that we face politically in this state, when we go to the legislatures, there's a guy from the e IBEW, and the, the, the workers at Diablo are union, uh, but there's only, you know, there's less than a thousand. There are more people working in the solar industry in this country now, and probably in the state of California, than are working in coal mines. It is a huge industry, but it needs to be unionized. Harvey, could you it, mention the, the, the new batteries that are coming online that are going to make the solar panels? Yes, I will, actually. Uh, i got to say, I knew solar had come of age when I, I took my daughter uh, to the Malibu Pier, and I parked our car in the Malibu Pier, and I walked by, and there were two Teslas parked right next to each other. You know that that's, that, yeah, that, that's a sign of the time. And so, you know, we have Elon Musk. We have a, a nascent solar business here that's, that's going to hire tens and tens of thousands of people. And, you know, we, Jerry Brown, I would like, I would like to, to know what happened to Jerry Brown. The fir first governor, Jerry Brown, was, was quite a green guy. This one, um, I think it's an imposter, actually. I think they might <laughs> slip somebody else in there. But um, uh, we, we can talk about that in greater detail. But the reality is if we had a unionized solar industry, we would be totally on top of the IBEW. We would be not hearing this job argument about you know, the, the jobs at Diablo Canyon that are going to be lost. We know at, the, at San Onofre and other nukes around the country that a lot of the workers who are allegedly thrown out of work actually stay on and do the decommissioning, which takes decades. The, 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 the decommissioning of Vermont Yankee, the company says, is going to take 60 years. Uh, you know, try 600, really, and San Onofre faces the same dilemma which uh, Donna is going to talk to us about. So the two major items, shut the Avalo Canyon and yeah. solar, bring Solartopia to Los Angeles. Yeah. We are not far from shutting the Avalo Canyon. The economic, I can only say this for the first time in the last couple of the years, the economics are very much in our favor. You know, there was a time during the Vietnam War when uh, we, we knew what a goddamn awful war it was. It had been evident for many years, but suddenly, Mid 70s, 73, 74, two, two, three, four, the corporations started coming in against the Vietnam War. And it ended because people understood that the economics finally were in our favor of peace. And we know now that the economics are in favor of our shutting Diablo Canyon. If PG e it is a money loser for PGE, e except for some shenanigans that are being played at the Public Utilities Commission. So I want to come out of here, if, if, if you'll indulge us and uh, but obviously it's in everybody's interest, that we want to know what we're going to do to shut this damn thing. And we are going to know that we, we, it, it's within our grasp. We have shut the San Onofre. It's astounding, but we have shut those two reactors. And so we can now shut the Apple campaign. <laughs> the time to make the break is now to wind and wave and solar power if we're going to live, nuclear power must be banned. Wrap your mind round Fukushima. It's no time to be a dreamer. Google Fukushima, take a stand.